A triumphant Sinn Féin leadership entered the Belfast Town Centre to the cheers of their supporters. It's been a remarkable election for the party, not just holding its seat total, but potentially building on it. It looks on course to take the position of First Minister at Stormont. Well, obviously I feel very positive. I mean, we fought a very positive campaign. We told people about what we were for. We said this was an election about the future. It is going to be potentially an historic election for many reasons, but I think it was because people wanted to talk, wanted us to talk about how we want to work together in partnership with others. That's the only way we achieve much, much more for people here. A portion of the nationalist electorate appears to have moved away from the SDLP, siding with Sinn Féin to ensure it got the First Minister's job. The posts of First and Deputy First Minister are co-equal, but the symbolism of a nationalist at the top of government in Northern Ireland, for the first time since the foundation of the state 100 years ago, is seismic. It was a good day personally for the DUP leader Geoffrey Donaldson. He topped the poll in his Lagan Valley constituency. His party hasn't done as poorly as predicted. His focus on the Northern Ireland Protocol and a warning that a Sinn Féin win would hasten a border poll appears to have paid off. These results uh, send a very clear message. There are more than enough unionist votes on the table to leave unionism in a much stronger position. Uh, we could have won this election uh, on first preference votes, uh, but unfortunately the divided nature of unionism means that hasn't happened this time. Alliance were real winners and have taken votes from all sides. They're on course to add to their assembly team. They'll be well into double figures by the time they're done. A significant third block at Stormont, alongside nationalism and unionism. People in Northern Ireland are ready to step away from the kind of traditional orange versus green voting. I think the issues in this campaign have very clearly been issues around the cost of living crisis, have been issues around the state of our health service, and they've been issues around whether or not we can actually have a government that will last for a full mandate. And the TUV, arch opponents of the Northern Ireland Protocol, also did better than expected, providing a lightning rod for unionists angry at the protocol and a perceived weakening of the union. The alliance wave has meant a squeeze on the SDLP and also unionists. The Green Party's two MLAs could also succumb to its wash. We were told it was a once-in-a-generation election. It's still early, but the political sands have definitely shifted. Conor McCauley, RTE News, Belfast.